Welcome back to the channel where we make the best use of our free time. Today we're with Jams and he's going to teach us how to bunny hop. Right then, Jams, show us how it should be done, like. Nice, clean. Yeah, so the whole point in this thing is you can get at big obstacles and obviously learn tricks too, which are cool. So it gets even bigger. Oh, look at that. Right here, I'll look. Whoa. Go on. Yeah, you're gonna have to give us how's it done. Like, yeah, give us the tips step by step is it basically this is the way that i learned bunny hopping there's loads of different ways that you can learn um but this was pretty much the way that my mates taught me back in the day on the mountain bike really it wasn't even on bmx step number one step number one you need to cup your pedals and scoop backwards everybody can lift the front wheel if you can't give it a good practice it's very easy all you've got to do is lean back slightly over the seat and that is pretty much the basics. So let's give you a I got the front. Yeah, that feels good. Right, okay, I'll come around for the back. Oh, that's all right. So you might be able to use your momentum to just bring it, bring it up a little bit. But to get it better, what you want to do is actually cut your feet underneath your pedals, almost like a scorpion kick in football. So basically, with your pedal when you're standing, obviously your foot's not going to be quite flat, it's going to be tilted like that. What you want to do is when you're rolling, just, just sort of cut the pedal. Cut the pedal with your foot and pick up. You can even practice it with your foot on the floor, just picking it up and trying not to move your cranks. Oh, yes. Okay, so once you've learned how to pick up the back end like that, and you know how to pick up the front end like that, you can start putting them together. So, a lot of people start doing it, I did it, start doing it at the same time. The typical bunny hop. Just, so when you pull up your back and you pull up your front together, it gives you a little bit of height. I'm feeling it now. Try that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. So, once you've got the, the old school bunny hop down, you can start doing a, a J-hop, or we call it a pro-hop. So you've got your maximum height, and then it's almost as if, instead of lifting up the front and the back at the same time, you lift up the front slightly before the back. But what you don't want to do is lift up the front too much and loop out, like this. Whoa! Mad. So the way I practiced it was just coming up to curbs, even on the flat again, and just... So once you get used to doing your J-hops, your pro-hops, and you're getting a good, decent bit of height, clearing curbs very easily, um, start, you know, low benches, stuff like that. We use the mani pad here. Perfect. Yoo! Once you start getting really comfortable and you're confident in the bike, you can really start pulling on the bars, getting that height. Ad additionally to that, you can use your legs, tuck in and get a little bit of style on it, a little bit of extra height, almost like a double jump in a video game. Do you know what I'm saying? me now <laughs> once you've got used to doing the high hops you can start using your legs you get me yeah yeah <laughs> yeah of course here we go local spot mate you okay. i reckon you've got that hop three no. three set how tall is that like what two foot foot and a half two oh, foot i don't feel comfortable with that it's a it's a wheel it's a wheel it's a wheel it's a bmx well, we'll 20 inch wheel one. this one yeah, what's that? That's oh, that's two oh, and a half. Start with that one, it's smaller. Okay, we're gonna start with the two set, okay. Easy. Yeah boy. Hey, what are you saying about the three three set? This one? You gonna do it? 
Can give you it. Show us. Can you show us first? All right. Give it a go, though. All right, fine. Go on, then. Show us how it's done. Here he is. Easy. Nothing wrong with that, mate. 